Konnichiwa minaboku wa Jeremy desu. Yoroshiku onagaishimasu. Welcome back to another episode of The Vision of Eurovision. I did it again. Uh, semi-final two predictions for the Eurovision Song Contest 2023. Um, today is Wednesday as I'm recording this. Semi-final two is tomorrow. We watched semi-final one on Tuesday and it was a nail biter, but pretty much I was almost dead on completely on my list then. This one I'm go I'm finding a little harder to f to kind of decide. Now, I've watched the rehearsals a little bit, little clips from the rehearsals, so not the full things. So I'm basing my I um my predictions on which 10 are going to go through of the 16 that we're going to see tomorrow on the rehearsals and kind of so I have like my wants to go through and my what I think is going to go through and uh, who knows we'll see we'll see what happens but what we did learn yesterday is that it seems that there's not a lot of love for the bands this year uh, the boy bands especially but um yeah so that that's that's interesting and even duos to a certain degree now it depends also on the performance and the song but I mean Azerbaijan did perform really well but the song is not really one that was liked netherlands same thing so it's i don't know there's a lot of things a lot of politics a lot of things that come into it so let's take a look at the um groups that are going through so starting off the uh, semi-final will be denmark with riley and breaking my heart now I like the song. It, early on when it was released, I was like, okay, this is kind of like in my top five, but that quickly went down when other songs were released. Um, it's very overly produced. I've seen rehearsal clips where he's been really off on the vocals, where they haven't had the vocoder in there. So I'm not sure he can actually sing without the vocoder part. I'm not sure. I haven't listened to his other stuff before. Um, it's just him on stage. It's kind of green colors. Uh, green is my favorite color. He's wearing a pink um, kind of suit sort of thing, which makes him stand out. Uh, it's, I don't know. Like, I I kind of think this is going to be a shock non-qualifier, to be perfectly honest. Now, Alessandra was first in the running order yesterday with Queen of Kings, but that is a much stronger song. It's been doing much better in terms of streaming. I don't even think Breaking My Heart is is that has that many streams um, compared to many of the other songs out there. So it's really going to depend. However, he is by himself, doesn't have a band, but it is really, really overly produced. So I don't know. But next is Armenia. This one is definitely going to go through. It's a very artsy performance. Um, Brunette with the song Future Lover. She's got amazing vocals and really vocals count for a lot because it's all jury based or not jury based. Sorry, it's not jury based. It's all televote based. So you're going to want to make sure that you are the perfect package in this because you want to appeal to people with your visuals as well as your, your singing and stuff. When it gets to the grand final and you have the juries in there, they're going to start to pick apart your actual staging and your vocals specifically as well, too. That's why I still think that Sweden's going to have a much better chance over uh, Finland with the juries, at least. And of course, it's like a 50-50 split. So if the televote gives Kari a massive amount of, of votes, then that might propel him enough to win. But I still honestly think that it's going to be Lorene. We'll see. But that's the grand final. We're talking about semifinal two. Armenia definitely going through. Great, great uh, visuals, great voice. I think that she's uh, got the whole package. Amazing, amazing song. Just like Snap was last year. Um, this one's a little bit different emotionally. And it's got uh, a lot of musical differences in it as well throughout the performance. Um, kind of like Israel. And so, yeah, I think that Armenia um, is going to definitely make it in. Romania. Now, this one, um, major change from the national final performance versus the semi-final. Um, DGT off and on by Theodore. Uh, he is doing really well by himself on stage. Just him with his vocals, changing up what he's doing as well, really helps. Um, he's, he's wearing pink as well, and uh, he's got no shirt on underneath. It's just open chest with like the, the jacket on. Kind of, you have that air of masculinity, but you also have that air of a bit of femininity thrown in there too. And that raspy voice, um, very much like Damiano from uh, Maniskin. So I think that, he will be a shock qualifier where a lot of people are sleeping on this song. Um, he's got some good visuals in the background too, although there's a weird one about with him, I think in a big suit. I don't know. 
this one, it's going to be, I think Denmark or Romania, it's going to be one or the other that's going to most likely make it in. I don't think both will. I Probably one or the other. Estonia, Bridges, you know, the, uh, people sleep on this song. It's kind of boring-ish when you think about it. I guess it's just a ballad. But it her vocals are amazing. Her The presentation, from what I could see, was really good. I didn't see the piano. I really hope she has the player piano in there because I loved that element of the national final. Um, I, but I've always loved player pianos anyway and but it would have been a nice visual to put in there maybe it doesn't work with the story that they're trying to tell for the staging at the semi-final i guess we'll find out tomorrow and i'm so excited to be able to watch it live like really <laughs> um so yeah i think estonia has a really good chance of making it into the grand final belgium okay belgium is like this weird favorite underdog it definitely appeals to, it, it, it like ticks off the box of the lgbt entry not that you like necessarily have to have that um but it's it's there and uh it, it's one of the elevated kind of camp but fun songs party fun songs um there's another kind of party song with slovenia in here but i do think that actually believe it or not belgium will make it in over slovenia um but we'll get into that a little bit later uh there's that duck thing duck dance you know like where there i can't even i wouldn't be able to begin to be able to do it but you see it all the time on rupaul's drag race in the lip syncs and stuff and uh, i think that belgium has a really good chance of getting in there as well too vocally um he's he's doing great uh gustav because of you is the name of the song by the way uh I think he's got a good chance. I really do. And it'll add like one thing we also saw yesterday was there's so the songs are so varied. And I think that this one is kind of in a niche of its own. Um, even like it's camp, but it's not as camp, like not the same kind of camp as what we got from Finland or Croatia. Um, and it's, it's just, I think, I think he's got a really good chance. And, and in this semifinal, especially, uh, Cyprus, Cyprus's vocals. Um, and from what I saw of the staging looks amazing. The vocals are great. As long as he keeps that there, it's just him on stage again is from what I could see. Maybe he has dancers. I, I just don't know, but I've liked this song kind of since I first heard it. It's, it is kind of like your plain kind of ma male love-ish song, but it works. And I think that he's he's got really, really, really good vocals there. Um, okay, one, two. So then we have Iceland. I love Iceland. I love the song Power. People are sleeping on this one too. De uh, she's alone on stage. There's like plants and stuff in uh, like on the screen. I, I, hmm, I don't know what to say about this one. I want this one to qualify. I really, really like this song. Her voice, she has the power in her voice. And it's got a good message to it, too. You hold no power over me. I'm probably saying that wrong, but like it's it's a really, really good song. And I, I, don't, I just don't know what to say. I want it to get in, but... Will it do well with the televote? I hope so. I, I, if some of the others falter on their vocals, then I think this one has a really, really good chance. Greece. Okay. In the rehearsals that I've seen of this, Victor Vernikos's voice. The vocals just are not there. Um, when I saw the initial performance in the national final, or not the national final, actually, um, it was just posted, like the music video, I, I had trouble with his English, like trying to understand what he was saying at first. Um, it's his vocals though they're not they're not great and i don't know if that's going to hinder him in this um if he if he performs it like that i don't think they're going to do very well the song itself is kind of uh, mediocre um it, it i mean greece and cyprus are very similar in terms of the style of song i guess um although greece is a little more anthemic but I think Greece is going to fall into the same trap that Ireland fell into. And I don't think that Greece is going to qualify kind of a shock non-qualifier for me. Anyway, Poland is up next and uh, we all know the story with Blanca. We all know the, the uh, there's controversy and stuff because you know, Russia's not it. So let's have po Poland be the one that gives us the controversy. Um, her performance though is very polished. Uh, her vocals are really good. She does have backup dancers. This one might be a shock qualifier as much as many people are like, sitting on it and they're like yeah no it should go at the bottom they keep joking with the baby you know thing britney spears ask i guess i don't know i don't know the song is so blase like i don't really care for it but it is a summer kind of song it's got a reggae beat to it it's really the only one that kind of sounds like it does but it also sounds like every other song you would hear on the radio at this time so it's yeah i don't know i i 
I personally will not be voting for Poland, but I could see it going through into the final. Slovenia. Okay, this song is loved by a lot of people. Joker out, Carp DM. They've they've been, I think, of all the groups, one of the highest rated ones. But after seeing their rehearsal, it looks kind of boring, kind of lackluster. And I do think they're going to fall into the same trap as the other bands ireland and latvia and Mal or malta like malta had a really great staging they were all over the place they were doing all these things but it just did not translate to the televotes and that's so unfortunate but i really don't think that slovenia is going to make it in another shock non-qualifier maybe i'm wrong just a gut feeling but we'll see Georgia. Now, this one's also a weird one to me because the so the presentation of the song is great. The LED screens are brought out and put in different, like they're almost stacked kind of, and she's in the middle and wearing this great dress. Like visually, it's amazing. The song is still weird and I love it because I love English. And like the song makes zero sense. The words do not make sense throughout most of it. I think everybody can agree on that. It's a little nuts in that sense. But then again, there have been entries where it's been made up languages before. So I think in that respect, it's not that big of a deal. This is also the first year that the whole world gets to vote in it though. So I don't know how that's going to sit with more of the English speaking countries, but really like when I voted, I'm from Canada, so like Canada, U.S., Mexico, any country that's not participating gets kind of put into like a one country sort of thing. So like, would it make a big difference? I don't know. It would come, come down mostly to the countries voting that are in Eurovision. They'll have way more pull than what mine would. Or, but anyway, uh, Georgia probably is going to qualify. Um, just visually, it is stunning. And I think that when she gets into the grand final with the juries, she'll get knocked down on the vocals. Um, or on the, maybe not the vocals, but the lyrics, but the staging is really, really well done. I'm sorry with, if my camera's bouncing around. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Um, let me see if I could fix this really quick here. I'm going to make myself bigger for a second. Usually this fixes it really quick. There we go. And then we're going to go back down to where I was before. All right. There. Is that better? I think it's a little more fluid. Yeah, I don't know. We're almost done. San Marino. Okay, San Marino, again, another band. This one has not been a favorite since the beginning. I, uh, It's hard to say. Um, they're a little more interesting, I think, and vocally better than Slovenia's rehearsal performance from what I saw. Again, rehearsals are rehearsals. They're not necessarily indicative of exactly what you're going to hear at the actual performance. Things are usually more polished because they're doing their best because it's their one chance to get into the grand final. But I think from what I saw, the rehearsal San Marino's was better than Slovenia, but I still think that they're not liked as much. I think that it will probably end up being the last place finisher of the whole contest, which is really sad um, unless people really come down on Poland just because of what happened. Um, and it's a shame because the, the lead singer of San Marino is, is very good voice, very, very good voice. So Austria, this is going to be the, the highest qualifier, most likely of this. Austria is definitely the dark horse. A lot of people think that it could even win the contest. Um, vocally, they're great. Yes, there was a couple of little clips where one of them, I don't remember which girl it was, um, the one that says, uh, at least it pays to be funny, was kind of off a little bit. But you know what? Again, people were criticizing Lorraine for some vocals and it's a rehearsal. We'll see what happens. I mean, anything can change, and it is Eurovision, so nothing is 100%, right? <laughs> There's been some weird surprises. Uh, I do think the semifinal one was very well chosen, though, so we'll see how semifinal two goes, but I do think Austria is going to make it in. Um, of all of them, they are the strongest contender. The song is amazing. It's tongue-in-cheek. It's got great a great story behind it. They they aren't fully in your face, but they get the message across, and they're fun. And uh, I do wish that they would have brought the older guys in to do the dance in the background, like the po, 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 po. But that sticks in your head, too, and that's important because when you have the audience singing with you, like... You know, and that's another thing I want to, I forgot to mention yesterday, I think, uh, when I was going over the entries, Serbia, um, Luke said, uh, game over. And then you could clearly hear the audience say, bitch, because he did that when he was drunk in one of the, the parties. So again, it, it, you do things and it stands out with the crowd, kind of like Cities Any did last year. Instead of uh, meat, I eat veggies and, and then they, the crowd said pussy, you know, so like you got to get your audience involved and sometimes that's all it takes. 
if Ireland would have gone for that and got the audience more involved, I think it would have translated more to the people watching and gotten you into that whole anthemic thing. And maybe they could have made it into the, the grand final, but oh, I liked Ireland too. Albania. I love this song. I've loved it since it first came out. It was the first song that was presented, I think, this year for the contest. I love the family dynamic of it. I think they have a great performance. I hope this is a shock qualifier because a lot of people are sitting on it. I want Albania to get into the grand final. Whether they would do well or not in the grand final, I don't know, but I want them to get in. I don't think they will, but I want them to. It's just so cute. Uh, Lithuania. Lithuania is, is probably my second favorite song in this whole um, uh, semifinal here. I love Monica and I love Stay. I did a cover of it on uh, my Facebook and Instagram and, and stuff. I love it. And, and it's just, it's such a good song. And I really think she's got the emotion there. She's got the, the, it's, it's kind of like how Portugal's last year was where you've got the crowd or like the other, they're, they're all the ladies are together or Czechia this year. Oh my God. If with Czechia getting in, I think that also Lithuania has a really good chance. So I, I, this is my, you know, Austria and then Lithuania are my two absolutes to get into the grand final beautiful voice Monica has and it's such a good performance and finally Australia now I don't think Australia is going to fall into the same trap as the other bands um, there's a woman in the band first of all so it's not it's a mix it's not just all guys it's it's there's guys and a girl in there um, and the song is liked by a lot of people Australia usually does really really well at least getting into the grand final um, not always doing like super super well but I think they've always gotten into the grand final except maybe once I I don't know I don't know. And this could potentially be their last year, uh, even being in Eurovision. I, I don't know. Maybe they're swapping it out for Canada because Canada has been, they're doing Eurovision Canada to possibly go in next year. Um, I'm hoping to enter for it myself, but <laughs> more on that later. Uh, but Australia, really, really good song. I don't care for it that much. I'm not a rock fan, but I can see how it's appealing to a lot of people. Um, it would be good to have, like, if... If it comes down, though, between Romania and Australia, I think Australia will take it. But if they could both go in there, which is likely looking at the rest of the songs in here, they're they're different enough that I think they wouldn't cancel each other out. So and and there's that neat part um, that gives me like an 80s neon vibe. I've said it before in other videos. It's hard to explain exactly what I mean by that. But um, yeah, uh, so Australia has probably got a really good chance. So if I were to guess which ones I do think are going to make it through, um, Armenia, Romania, Estonia, Belgium, Cyprus. Poland, Georgia, Austria, Lithuania, and Australia. I would switch out if I could, if, you know, uh, I would switch out Poland and I would put Iceland in there because I love Iceland. So that would be my switch right there. But I really think that Armenia, Estonia, Cyprus, Austria, Lithuania, and Australia have the most, oh, and Georgia, all have the most chances. Um, it's going to either be probably between Belgium and Denmark and probably between Poland and Iceland. I, I don't think Greece is going to make it in. I don't know. Again, it's kind of generic, but we'll see. I mean, I was mostly right on my semifinal ones, but we'll see what happens with semifinal two. Anyway, let me know below what you guys think. I love talking Eurovision stuff with people and I'm just so excited for all of this. So uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow and then I'll have a, um, a reaction video to it afterwards. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.